my crafty friends. Today I'm going to show you part two on how to cover our book. And this is what it's going to look like when we're done. We go from our envelope to our book to covering it. So for my cover, it is going to be a five, eight, a five and five eighths by 11. And you're going to score at four and three eighths. So you're gonna to go to four and then count one, two, three. That's three eighths and score. And I'm just gonna go over it lightly a few times. Okay, and now I'm gonna go at eight and seven eighths. I'm gonna to go to eight and seven eighths. So let's go to nine and go back one. That's seven eighths. If you count from here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go back a seven eighths. Eight and seven eighths. And then we're gonna go to nine. And that little one eighth gives us the um, little rectangle lid. So turn it over, you might be able to see it better. So let's go ahead and fold those. It's gentle fold. And then I have two of them here, so I'm going to do the nine inch. Nice gentle fold. And then the eight and seven eighths. I'm just gonna roll that on over with my fingers because it's such a small, small little piece there. I'm just gonna pinch it on over. Come on back, pinch it on over. So now I have. the front piece, the top piece, the back piece, and the front piece. So let's get our book here. That should slide right on in. Sit right on down and fold right on over. Look at that. Nicely. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is come in and just ink those edges. And I think I'm going to use um, my lilac you know, by Victorian Velvet. So it's a light purple, which is matching that um, piece right there in the center. So that's inked nicely. So now that when I put my cover on, you still have that nice cream piece, but you also have the um, Victorian velvet right there, just pointed in. So I am not going to put my cover on yet because I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing to the inside pockets, I don't necessarily need to wrap around. So I want to wait on that. Okay, my friends, let's get moving forward with this. Um, I have here some of the mats you're going to need. <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, so I have A, B, C. So A is going to be um, our front pocket on the inside cover here. So we'll just mark A. And B are the back of our pockets. So this is B. This is B. C are our pocket covers on the inside, which is C and C. D are the is the inside pocket covers which are going to be D, you can see this inside pocket here, D and D. 
and then E is the inside front flap. E, we have an E and an F, and that is going to be here. We have E is going to be down here, and then F is going to be up here. And that's it. And, well, and we have our lid, our, um, which is three and a half. That's, that's a G. G. One A, two Bs, two Cs, two Ds, an E, an F, and a G. And I'm going to list all the measurements below. And let's get putting this together. So, for A, our A is a little bigger than the other pockets. And what you're going to do is you measure in 5 eighths this way and this way. And then you measure down one and one quarter and you score. And you score from the lines, line to line. Now what this is going to do is this is going to give us this little front cover right there. It's gonna slide right in that pocket and it's going to give us a little extra support on where that envelope opening is. B are pocket backs, and these are five and five eighths by four and a quarter. And these go on the backs of our pockets here. Back of our pockets here. C are the other pocket covers and they're a little smaller than that front one. Same measurements um, on cutting out your little notch. And then this part here is our E and our F. And it's gonna go here. This is gonna be wrapped in lace. Our lace. So let's go ahead and get these on here. Let's start with some of the simple ones, which will be these the flat backs. Now I'm just going to um, be very random about where, what tab I'm actually putting them on. I'm going to go ahead and go around with my Victorian velvet and I'm going to ink all the edges of my decorative paper just like I did with my envelope here. Use my art glitter glue. And I'm lining up at the bottom first, right up next to that score line, and I'm centering it in the middle of that envelope. So I have the same measurements on as best as I can on both sides. And bring it right on up and then slide it up just a little. Do the same with my next one. Pay attention to your directional. If you have directional paper, pay attention to those directions. I'm gonna go ahead and get these inside pockets on here. These are the smaller ones. C and D is what we want, C and D. Now A is going to be this one. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do the, this is the, same kind, this is the same pattern that's on my outer. So I'm gonna put this on the inner pocket here. And I line my glue along the outside edge of my tabs. And then I want to trim off a little bit of these corners here so that it slides nicely in there. 
Uh, your envelopes may be different, so you know you, you, you these measurements may not work for you. And this is what um, I have worked out for mine. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to just slide that folded piece right into my pocket. I'm going to line up the bottom. Try to make sure I have the same amount on both sides. So it's even all the way around. I want to make sure I don't have any glue. It's going to glue that bottom part down. Do the next one. Lock those corners. Slide that into my pocket. There are those. Let's go ahead and get our last one on here. This is our tall one. And this is our A. those pockets covered. Now what I do like to do is I want to come in and just angle just a little bit off of those pockets. We can come back in and just touch up those edges that we trimmed off. So this side back here is our, our E and our F, our E is there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my little um, support piece and put it right under here. And this is, of course, 5 and 5 eighths, and this is by 1 and a half. And I know I have a smaller piece, but I'm going to just add this one. Since this is the very first one that opens, I want a little more stability on this pocket. So I'm going to bring this right up to that score mark again. And I'm going to line it up as far to the edges as I can. Make sure that comes up. Next step I'm going to do is I'm going to use my lace and I'm going to put this over my front and I'm going to create a slip-in pocket and I'm just going to wrap that. And so I'm going to bring, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of some score tape along the back. And that's just going to help my lace to actually hold on until I get the glue on there to hold it down. It's just gonna come and wrap on over. I want it nice and taut so that whatever I slide in there, it's not gonna just um, fall out. So there's that, and then I'm going to take it and I'm gonna use my glue, and I'm gonna glue that down right on top. And then I'm going to line that up at the base, matching my sides up. Now that'll come up and fold on over. I like to put something heavy on top of that since it is the lace and I want to make sure that that glue adheres very nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, Punch I have. I'm going to go ahead and close it up. And I'm just going to sit that right across there. We have this is our our E, our lid. And we are going to actually take this and score it. So I can move that out of the way with your front inside flap. 
So that is going to be this piece here. You want to pay attention to your directions and I have the extra <clears throat> pink here, but that's going to slide right on in. Now I can have have that as the top since we have all the inked edges or I can put it on the inside. I think I'm going to leave it like this. So I know that what I need to do is I need to have my score marks and they need to be scored at one and seven eighths and two and one eighths. So one and seven, one and seven eighths and two and one eighths. So if I do that, this is going to be the side that's on the inside. So whatever top, whatever you want on the top of your envelope, you need in the corner. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and score this at one and seven eighths. So I'm going to go to two and I'm going to go back one. I'm use my big ball here. And then I'm going to go in two and one eighths. And I'm also going to go at two right down the center. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go over those score marks again. One and seven eighths. Two. One and one eighth. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because of this lid right here. When you look at it, we have that nice little square top. So now I have plenty of room on my score marks so when I slide this in I can glue it nicely and we'll trim off the edges and ink it a little bit as we need. Let's go ahead and get this in there. Let's start to make sure where it's going to bend is going to be glued and have plenty of, of adhesive. and then up and around your corners. So now this is going to slide in our pocket. I'm going to line up my top. Nice and even all the way around. And down on into my pocket. So now I have this nice covered area. Let that glue grab and adhere nicely. So now I should be able to gently ease on the outside of my envelope and then reinforce that original score mark on my envelope. So I have both score marks. I should be able to fold that right on down and not have any gapping on the curvature. Now we have it, we sure don't. Right where we fold it and we put the glue down. We don't have any gapping on that card coming up there. That's what we want. Very good. So now these little pieces here are just going to slide right on in. Do a little bit more contrast with that one. Slide right on in there. Those glued. Let's go ahead and get our outer cover on, and then we'll decorate we have the cover that we measured and scored already and pre previously in the video. And so I'm going to set this on in there, and I'm going to make sure I've got, um, I'm going to set it in there right now. I'm going to come up, and I'm going to glue 
my edges. And then making sure that where that fold is going to be, come up even on both sides, even as I best I can across that top. just before those score marks for the top of the lid. Nice and adhered. On that fold. So here, I want to make sure we have a good amount of adhesive as we roll on over so we don't have any separation. And then the lid is going to come right on over the front. So we've got this coming on up. Press it on down. As we pull it over, this front is going to pull. those score marks. And then we can trim off any extra. Now, the basic of our book is done. Now we'll get decorating and um, all of our little imperfections will be covered up. Here we have our pockets all covered and ready to roll. So that was part two and we've got it all covered now. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it. And so stay tuned for part three where we get to decorate this. So thank you all for joining me as always. If you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to my channel please consider doing so by hitting that subscribe button and if you'd like to know when I'm uploading new videos hit the bell button and you'll be notified when I'm doing when I'm uploading new videos as always stay safe God bless and bye for now